Hello, Jesse Good here, back on the review. And this is a Toys R Us June 14th take and make and create. I don't even know what the heck they call it nowadays. There's so many different names for it. Uh, the Lego movie Master Builder Max, I guess you could say. They don't even say that, it's just the Master Builders. And this is very interesting because this take home event not only is one of the first to have minifigure heads and minifigure pieces, but also they didn't give you any instructions. They basically give you a few pieces and they said, you know, you could use these pieces, take four of each piece and they allowed me to take some more here and there. And you could build your own mechs or master builder mechs. So I found, I kind of found that interesting, but I always build by the instructions. So what I did was I took their examples right here. You see it says master builder examples, which is a lot of uh, kind of the uh, build that a lot of you guys are probably going to want to make. So what I'm doing is I'm going to be reviewing this and I'll also show you how to build these examples that they showed you. So uh, without further ado, let's take a look at these little minifigures. But I just wanted to take a quick look at the packaging because there wasn't really anything special. There was this right here, which I took on my own. I don't know if I was supposed to take this because if you see on the back, Batman 31 inch action figures for $20. Yeah, I don't know if I was supposed to take this. I just took this because they had the examples right there. But also they gave you this, which is everything is awesome. Own your own Blu-ray combo pack of the Lego movie. So that's a pretty nice little flyer right there. It's fully colored and everything like that. And it says visit legoclub.com and uh, rate this event. I'm gonna rate it a really kind of poor rating because I don't think it was organized too well. Also, they gave you this little bag as a packaging where you can put your pieces. So now let's take a look at each little individual mech. All right, so the first example model we'll take a look at is this guy in the middle right here. So here's the model itself. I just based it off of the pictures. Like I said, there's no instructions, unfortunately, in this set. But the actual model looks a little bit disproportionate because of the minifigure head. And it is very, very undurable. I mean, it keeps on falling over. It's not stable whatsoever in terms of pieces sticking on. So that's really kind of a disappointment. I mean, the model itself doesn't look too bad. If you just took off the head and maybe replaced it with kind of a robot looking head, it would look really cool. But like I said, it's very, very flimsy. If you put the arms back like this, look what happens. The wings fall off on the back. And sometimes these pieces fall off, which I'm sure they'll fall off in when I'm taking a look at the set itself. And I think that might be because I used a jumper right here and they don't really specify whether it's a jumper or a one by two plate to use on that bottom part or on the side part right here. So maybe I'm doing that wrong and that's why it's falling off. And also another part right here is in this middle right here. Sometimes, let me see. Oh, that's good. It's, it's very sturdy right now, so that's good. But sometimes it falls over like that because you push it and it's on this little turnstile plate right here. And because of that, it just kind of tumbles over. So that's really kind of lame. But taking a look at the model itself, if you want to build it, here's kind of your look at the front. And there are some very nice mini bowl joint pieces that they give you for free, which is really kind of a cool addition for kind of your collection because these mini bowl joint pieces are new for 2014. And you can see there's one right there. And there's one of this little receiver end right here. And there's just one uh, one by two one right there. So that's really nice. And also they give you some of these red slopes, which are quite uncommon nowadays in that red color. And basically they're identical on both arms, so the, both of the arms are the exact same. And you can see how you build that right there. And in the middle there's this little cog looking piece, which is nice to get to. And then on the legs, they have these big bowl joint pieces. You see, this part fell again. And that's just really kind of to move the feet or whatever that you want to call them. So he is a very poseable minifigure, but he's just not very durable, at least how I built him. And on the back, there's these little wings right here, which I showed already fell off in the start of the video, or the start of this little look. And yeah, that's really it for this guy right here. It is nice to get this little head right here as uh, in, this, in these builds, because you do get two mechs, two example mechs, or you could build two example mechs that use this little headpiece right here. But still, it's just not very durable as a build altogether. So you're better off probably building your own version to make him more durable and sturdy and not flimsy. The next one we'll take a look at is this guy right here, which I just built. And he is the cutest out of them all because he has this very kind of small but kind of cool looking mech. Uh, he isn't too um, flimsy as, I guess, the first one we looked at. But he still has the same problem as the first one in which the middle part falls off of that little turn sal plate very, very easily. And if you just pop it in back like that, 
I guess he could easily put back together. And his legs are actually kind of cool too because they're a little bit more, I guess, posable than the last one we looked at. Because he has a few joints on there. He has this little bull joint right here. And he has this little receiver end right there. So you could kind of move it in a few more ways that you can't really do with the last one. And it just fell off. But in this event, it's really nice that we're getting all these little mini bull joints. So I can't really complain. And like I said, they didn't really instruct you to build these examples. They really just said build your own. Also, these little arms right here, you can move around too because they have a bull joint receiver right there. And this mini bull joint right here. And then in the middle right there, there's a one by two bull joint, mini bull joint, uh, ball joint right there. That doesn't make much sense. And also there's these little shooters right here, which they use this little camera piece, I guess you could call it. And you could just pop it in on the sides right there. So that is very cute. But you can't really point it forward, which I wish you can because it will look really cool. You can kind of just move the bowl joint up to that point right there. But for his head and his hat, he is the same exact one as the last one we took a look at. And on the back, there's no little connector or any plates or anything like that. So it's very kind of desolate on the back. So that's it for this build right here. So if you want to build him, Here's one last look at the front, and he can't really stand up by himself either. Okay, so there is the front, the side, and remember both arms are identical, then the back. So there you go. Then alas, here is my favorite, just because of the minifigure hair piece right here. Uh, but we'll get to that later. But this is kind of a chunky one, I guess you can say, because it's really short but really kind of chunky because it uses these big bowl joints. And probably the simplest out of them all. And she has these big little legs right here, which use the big bowl joints. So that's kind of interesting. And you do get a lot of all these nice little red pieces right here, these red slopes. And you get so many that I didn't took or I didn't take the right number. So I had to use some from another set. So I apologize for having that sticker right there. But you can see she uses some bowl joints, some mini bowl joints right on there. Right there, right there, right there. And then there's a receiver. Right here, this is a receiver, and then there's the bulge joint, and then there's the middle one right there. And her headpiece, or, or is that one from, I remember it from the Drawbridge Defense, but it's appeared in a lot of other sets, but that was from 2009, so it's not the most common uh, headpiece. But the best part is that you get this little hairpiece right here. And this may look a little bit unfamiliar, but this is actually from uh, a Star Wars set from last year, and it was Padme. And I think it's a droid gunship, I want to say. Uh, and I don't really study Star Wars or anything like that. But it only comes in that set. So it's really nice to get this in a free build. Because this is such an uncommon hairpiece. That that's just such a nice addition. And that's probably the best piece in this whole, uh, or in these all little take and create builds for this event. And you can just pop it on her head like that. And on the back. You got this little shooter, or I guess it's usually it's used as a shooter on the other ones. But you can see right here, they use it on the side as a shooter. But this one, it's just kind of used on the back. So that's kind of lame. It looks like the female is the weakest out of all of these. So maybe people might call that sexist. And there is the back right there. Like I said, I had to use these substitute uh, stickered slopes right here. But yeah, that's really it for this build. Really kind of funny because it's the chunkiest out of them all. Now let's take a look at the final verdict. Overall, what do I think of this event? I think it's actually a really good event. I would not recommend building the example models like I did. I really just did that so the people who really wanted to see the example models could, you know, see this video. And if you wanted to build it, you could see how I built it just based off of their pictures. I didn't improve anything specifically in my taste. I just followed exactly what they put out in those pictures. So if you want to build these, you know, just take a look at the video. And I'll show a look at the back too. If you just want to skip to the final verdict right here. And like I said, there, this event really is worth it because of the pieces alone. You get some really awesome pieces like these red slope pieces right here. The 2x2 two two jumpers. All the mini bowl joint pieces you get in here, which is really awesome. Also the minifigure head pieces, which the printings are pretty uncommon. And the most, or the best part right here is this uh, female minifigure bun hair. Which only comes in one other set, which is a very expensive Star Wars set from last year. So it's so awesome to get that in this build because it's just one little piece, but it only comes in one other set, which is a really expensive set. So that's really nice. And you do get lots of nice red pieces. 
So I can't really write this because it is a free build, but I do recommend going here. Of course, the event's probably over by the time you see this, but go to your Toys R Us if you live in the United States and see if they have any pieces left over. They usually do, and they'll usually give it to you. So that's it for this review, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.